Uni is one of those things you, you either love it or you hate it. Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Otaru, Japan. Otaru is in the northern prefecture of Hokkaido, just about 40 minutes train ride from Sapporo. Today we're going to be exploring Otaru, starting things off at the fish market, tasting all the local cuisine, and then later we're going to take the train to another nearby town called Yoichi, which is famous for its whiskey distillery, Nika Whiskey. Let's go eat some Japanese seafood. So this is a pretty small market. It's called the Triangle Market. It has all kinds of different seafoods. Of course, lots of crab, which is Hokkaido's specialty. And it's really popular to have a donburi, so like a, a bowl of seafood. So we're going to order up uh, at one of the restaurants a mixed seafood bowl. Let's see what they have. Little one street market with all kinds of seafood. Lots of fresh, good looking stuff here. So we popped into one of the restaurants serving the donburis, the seafood bowls, and sitting on the, the floor here, they have every kind of combination of seafood imaginable. So they've got, uh, this is the ikura, the salmon eggs with uni, just uni. Like look at these uni bowls are crazy. This is like seafood lover's paradise. So this is our kaisendan or seafood donburi. We ordered three different things, the salmon roe ikura, and then the uni, sea urchin, and then the beautiful salmon sashimi back here, all on a bed of rice. And this was 3,000, so a little bit pricey to be honest. Big piece of wasabi there as well. Miso soup, which is looking beautiful with a nice scallop inside. I'm just gonna go in with my spoon here and let's try some of the ikura salmon eggs first. are so nice. They just pop in your mouth, full of juice, a little bit salty. Let's try the uni next. So uni is one of those things you, you either love it or you hate it. Luckily, I love it. Very creamy, completely disintegrates in your mouth. It's got like a faint irony flavor, if that makes any sense, kind of like a little bit metallic. It's really unique. Umami completely covers your mouth in flavor. A little bit of soy sauce. Go for a dip with this salmon. Oh, damn. That salmon is so good. Super rich and fatty. Oily. Again, melts in your mouth. You might think it's strange to eat so much raw food for breakfast, but it's so light. It's not grilled, it's not fried, nothing, no cook, so it's got a really lightness to it. It fills you up, but it doesn't make you feel heavy for the day. Everything is really good, but I gotta give it up for the uni. The highlight is gonna be the uni. Super fresh Hokkaido uni is known for being some of the top, top quality. You can see a little bit of uni there, some ikura salmon eggs. A little bit of wasabi. Oh. Wow, that's good. Gotta have every dish pretty much in Japan with some miso soup. Oh, it's just so homey, comforting. Let's go for this guy right here. That's nice addition. A little scallop in there. As you can just imagine, we're sitting in a fish market. It really doesn't get fresher than this. This is really high quality stuff. A little bit of the wasabi right here. Mm, maybe not a little bit, but I'm a wasabi lover, so. Mm, so good. This restaurant's so cool. I love how they've got all the different fish and seafood on the walls here behind me. Yum, what a great spot. Ooh, that was good. Let me tell you one thing. If you ever have uni that is not fresh, it's gonna taste so, so bad, and it's gonna ruin your experience uh, with uni, but you gotta have 
the freshest stuff. So, especially here in Hokkaido, it's so good. So, Otaru is famous for its canal. Very beautiful canal with these old buildings lining the side of it. We're getting a little bit of a rain shower right now, but uh, I think it's gonna pass. It's very beautiful, nice place to walk. And another thing that Hokkaido is famous for is their dairy and particularly their ice cream. So there is an ice cream shop. Well, there's tons of ice cream shops here in Otaru. We're gonna go grab ourselves a famous Hokkaido milk soft serve ice cream. into this ice cream place that's called Yamanaka Dairy Farm. So they've got a farm here uh, in Hokkaido that they produce all their own dairy. And look at that beautiful soft serve ice cream in a cone. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Very uh, milky flavor. Here in uh, Hokkaido, you get the soft serve ice cream. I haven't seen any non soft serve ice cream places. So the specialty is the soft serve ice cream. Wow, they're really good. Very creamy. But it's also got little kind of ice granules in there. Oh man, that's amazing. Right, it's really cool. We have to like eating ice cream in like cold weather. More satisfying than like eating ice cream like summer or like hot weather. What? What's wrong with you? I don't know. It's satisfying. <laughs> Still a bit rainy out even though there's blue sky so we put the cameras away we're filming on the iPhone now I hope the quality is all right that was a damn good ice cream though oh my god that was good and we are now going to head to one of Otaro's most famous uh, products is glass so we're heading to a shop that specializes in selling glass products before we head out to Yoichi to check out the whiskey distillery We do a, we go to Kitachi Glass Factory. Yeah. I got the All right, jumped in a taxi. We made it here now, still raining quite hard. So this place is called Kitachi Glass Factory. Glass making goes back centuries here in Otaru. And this shop is really cool. They've got like a little restaurant that is all lit by kerosene lamps, I think. And you can smell it. As soon as you walk in, you can smell the gas. And then they've got this uh, shop over here selling all the glass products, which range in prices quite severely. Some of them uh, are $200 for a single cup, <laughs> but very beautiful works of art. And this is something that Otaru is extremely popular for their glass making. I mean, I'm not totally into glass, but this is also just a really beautiful shop. Look at the chandelier, it's absolutely massive. Okay, now we're into the, the serious stuff section. These lamps here, thousands of dollars. Average price seems to be about $2,000. Holy smokes. Me, not the most interesting thing ever. And unfortunately the rain has kind of screwed up our schedule. So we're going to head now to Yoichi, go to the train station first and then uh, head to the whiskey distillery, Nika Whiskey. Thank you. Nico 
We've made it to Yoichi Station, just a 30 minutes, 25 minutes from Otaru. And this area, they say, is like the Scotland of Japan because the climate is similar to Scotland. And I've never been to Scotland, but I'm guessing it rains a lot because it is very rainy today. It's on and off. Right now it's stopped. Luckily for us, we're gonna walk over to the Nika Whiskey Distillery and take a little tour and then taste some whiskey. So we just finished the tour of the Nika distillery here in Yoichi. It is completely free, which blows my mind because it's a very extensive tour, about 45 minutes. I would totally recommend it if you're visiting Otaro because it's just about a 20 minute ride on the train from Otaro. So the grounds here are absolutely beautiful. It kind of resembles Scotland. And like I was saying earlier, the weather here is similar to Scotland. So it's ideal for making whiskey. Uh, Nika whiskey all started with one man who um, had a passion for whiskey. He, he trained and studied in Scotland. He married a Scottish woman and then they moved back here to Yoichi and started the distillery. And now it's one of the most popular whiskeys in all of Japan. So you can see the entire process everything's done by hand it is very cool and like I said it's free which is crazy but the best part is the free tasting at the end of the tour so we're at the end of the tour now they've given us three different drinks to try out so the first is the apple wine so this isn't actually whiskey this is a, one of their other products apple wine this is a super Nika whiskey and then this is the single malt Yoichi this is the the good stuff here. There's a huge demand for Nika whiskey that has overtaken the supply. So especially China, they've pretty much bought out the entire supply. You can't even really get it anywhere in the world. So coming to Yoichi is one of the only ways you could be sure you're gonna be able to buy a bottle of Nika whiskey. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to come here is to take a bottle home with me. I just scoured the entire shop. They don't have any bottles of the single malt whiskey. That's how popular it is, unfortunately. No single malt even here at the Yoichi distillery. I can't believe it. But uh, let's get these guys on the rocks and then try them out. Single malt. Yeah. I'm not a whiskey drinker whatsoever, but this stuff is so smooth. I tried it one time on a previous trip to Japan and I knew right away that this is definitely the best whiskey I've ever had. It just goes down so much smoother. There's no burn. It really fills you with full flavor though. That's the single malt. Man, that's delicious. Cool. So this one is Super Nika. I've made it into a highball, which is one of the classic drinks here in Japan. It's just carbonated water with whiskey. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. That is good too. Mm lighter flavor. Hokkaido is not just famous for uh, Sapporo beer and all of the beer and not only the whiskey but also wine. It's one of the top, uh, I think it is the top producer of wine here in Japan. So we've got Nika's apple wine. Oh, it's like a sweet dessert wine. Mmm, very sweet. Also smooth. Mm. 
I like the single malt the best. Damn, this is crazy that this is free. Can't even believe it. If I lived here, I'd probably be coming here every day. I'd be an alcoholic. My life would spiral out of control. Spend all my money on whiskey. <laughs> we'll cut that part in. All right, my turn. Whoop. Are you a whiskey lover? No. <laughs> For me, not drinking whiskey at all, I think it's quite strong but still smooth. So the single malt is, is 45%, which is strong. Oh man, the highball's good too. This one is even stronger, I don't know which one it is. I think that's a super unique. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell icon so you get notified, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye.